The death of an elderly person calls for elaborate celebration. So family, friends and well-wishers of the Obasa family gathered at the Kui Cemetery, Vestry Vaults and Gardens to celebrate the life of a matriarch, Mama Felicia Arike Olufumilola Obasa JP, who was born on the 19th of October 1931 and passed on to eternal glory on the 7th of March 2022 at the ripe age of 91. She is survived by her children and grandchildren. The service started with the arrival of the remains of the deceased. Prayers were conducted by Reverend Ulumuyua Gunsoya and renditions of hymns by the Trinity Voices. Bible reading was taken by Samuel Sherto, one of the grandsons of the deceased. The sermon was delivered by Reverend Ulumuiwa Gunsoya, who noted that there is time for everything, a time to be born and a time to die, as we have all come to the world with nothing and will exit with nothing. Mama, that God called to glory. Mama served the Lord, our maker. Mama was a prayer warrior. Mama will wake up early in the morning, pray, even pray all night, before she will wake Bragwinga up then. So, with what she said, so she learned so many things from Mama, also Sister Fulayo. Now the truth is now before us. Mama is gone. But the works of Mama speaks as Mama has left. And that is why I want to navigate us to John chapter 14. I want you to know that Mama is sleeping. John chapter 14 says, Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. Beloved, in Father's house, we have many mansions. And that is why we have the reality written to us in the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 3, and from verse 1. It says, There is time for everything. There is time for everything. And a season for every activity under the heaven. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to uproot. God gave us mama and God has taken her to herself. The Trinity Voices, led by Ayotunde Oshubohu, give a special song and hymn or renditions. Special prayers were conducted by Reverend Muiwa Ogusoya as the funeral service ended with songs delivered by the Trinity Voices.
There was a grand reception at the Bell Event Center in Lagos. The event welcomed the high and mighty in the society. Chief Binga Obasa, son of the deceased, His Royal Majesty, Oba Omogbolaho Abduwasu Lawal Abisugu II, the Oniro of Iruland. Elahaji Razak Okoya, billionaire businessman and array of Lagos, as well as his wife, Chief Mrs. Folashadi Okoya. Auto merchant, Chief Mike Inegwese and wife, Chief Mrs. Mary Inegwese. Oba Gbadibo Tejushu, the Kemp Tower of Egba Land. Prince Dr. B.C. Olatilo, the chairman and CEO of Biscon Communications. Araja Wusilat Seriki, sister to the array of Lagos. Senator Fatima Raji Razak. Justice Adeshola Oguntadi, Chief Brother Babajidi Damazio, the chairman of Yoruba Tennis Club, Chief Mrs. Kufu Rola Kessington Adebutu, wife of billionaire businessman Sir Dr. Kessington Adebutu, and a host of others. The event began as the faith band supplied beautiful tunes to welcome guests. <laughs> A parcel was presented to Chief Benga Obasa on behalf of the Yoruba Tennis Club as members of the club sang the club's anthem in honor of one of their own. Members of the Eko Club also performed a traditional rite on behalf of one of their members, the Balogun of Iruland, Honorable Chief Abayomi Daramola, who is the son-in-law to the deceased. A special prayer was conducted by Alahaji Jawando after which a parcel was handed over to Honorable Chief Abayomi Daramola by the president of the Eko Club, Chief Tajidina Guru. It was merriment all the way as the faith band entertained guests with beautiful songs. Communications, 
congratulates the Obasa family on the successful and most befitting burial given to their mother and grandmother, Mama Felicia Arike Olufumilola Obasa, JB. May God grant her eternal rest. Amen.